Hello and welcome back. Today we are looking at Ignis Wraith. Now in order to procure this weapon you will most likely have to trade it with someone as it is an event weapon and only those that entered the event and placed within the top tier, so a gold medal or statue, whatever it is, got the blueprint for Ignis Wraith delivered to them. If however your clan came in the top 10% overall, your dojo will then have the capability to research the weapon and you can trade the blueprint. I have seen a lot of people pass this on for free, I've seen other people charge. It's not generally too much, I paid 5 plat for mine because I was away on my course. Anyway, Ignis Wraith as a whole is actually a pretty solid weapon despite the fact that it is status per second, because we all know how crap status per second is. Looking for a perfect demonstration. This is my build with zero buff or capability on it. It's doing sod soddle as we know. This level 145 corrupted heavy gunner. It's it's doing nothing. Mwahaha. However, for other enemies such as infested it is pretty darn good at burning them alive if you're not getting dragged all over the place because those slappy handed bastards just love to do it and then there's a juggernaut you know which is also just a lovely one because he'll just rubby tackle you screaming rape rape you know it's annoying but it does chew through him pretty quick it is purely higher end areas where it seems to start lacking however you can counteract that by weirdly trying to go for a crit build it does crit fairly consistently and as always because i love spreading those spores and i've kind of done the take on this in a dual video along with pox is part of my loadout for sarin and honestly it's bloody amazing at spreading those spores so I will always recommend using it with Sarin it's actually kind of replaced my Mutilus Cernos I know how oh my god how dare it but honestly it is a really good weapon it hits pretty damn hard I just kind of wish that status per second was given a little bit of a relook at this game or at least just remove status per second over anyway and just put flat out status on the darn thing because let's face it there's no difference between having status per second and then having a rapid fire machine gun that has status chance on it so just put it to normal status chance please DE for crying out loud stop trying to make something more convoluted and complex than it already is just bah! but seriously this weapon on Saren does work wonders. I've just shown you what my build without buffs can do or can't do. Add it to Saren and you can clearly see the difference right here as this guy is just getting, well, he's getting fucked over. Good night, have a good time, catch you later. So on Saren, adding in the spores, it does make it a lot better, I personally feel anyway. But you don't have to just whack it on Saren. It is a really good weapon throughout. Just don't be too caught up on status. I've added a bit of crit to it like I've already said. Crit chance, crit damage and then other than that I've just concentrated on pure damage. Elemental side, do what you want. I'm using heat and corrosive along with serration, heavy caliber, point strike, vital sense and split chamber. Infected clip and stormbringer bring me my corrosive and my River mod is overall damage and critical chance, bringing my overall critical chance on Ignis Wraith to approximately 42%. Now, if you don't have a River mod, I actually was originally using Tainted Mag just because 332 magazine, that was quite useful. It does decrease, obviously, the reload speed. Anyway, that's me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!